Hey, I'm Roxanne. It's another great day to be alive. I'm just finishing putting up my curtains here. Welcome to the Practical Girl's Guide to Power Drills. If there's only going to be one power tool you own, it's got to be a power drill. Why a power drill? Well, you're going to get more use out of a power drill than anything else. Whether it's putting up a shelf or hanging a picture, this is the tool they have. And girls who don't have the hand strength that guys do, well, they can do a lot more good screwing with a power drill. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take you through all the pluses and minuses of power drills. This is a little light duty 4 volt drill. This one's one of my favorites, a compact 12 volt. A little more heavy duty, 14 volt drill. That's more for serious stuff. And this big mama, this is for drilling into concrete. And this one doesn't use any batteries at all. This is one of my favorite power drills. It fits my hand perfectly because the trigger, it's easy to reach. It's got a forward and a reverse switch that I can adjust with one hand. That means I don't have to reach over to change the setting. The chuck, well, it's a keyless chuck. That means I don't need to get a tool out to tighten or loosen it. Inside the chuck are the jaws and they clamp onto the bit. When you put the bit in, you want to make sure it's centered between the jaws so it doesn't go all squirrely when you're using it. <laughs> Make sure you tighten it up good. Now this one has a low and a high setting. I use low when I'm putting in a screw because it turns slower but it puts a lot more power into it. When you put it on high it turns a lot faster and that'll give you a nice clean hole when you're drilling. This has also got a clutch on it. The clutch, well is used when I'm putting in a little screw or something that I don't want to over tighten and what will happen is it'll tighten to a certain point and then the clutch will release and it'll stop turning any further. So I'll show you how that works. I'm going to turn it on low and I'm going to see after a certain pressure point it won't go any further. Last thing is of course it's got a light in it you can see that and it's got a lithium battery and that makes it really light. So those are some of the features you want to be looking for in a light power drill, especially for a girl. One last word on powering batteries. This as I mentioned is a lithium battery. It's small and light. This is a MiCAD battery, quite a bit larger. And that means that this drill is going to be a lot harder to handle all day long. However, it is a lot less expensive than a lithium battery. This one, it's got a battery built into it. That means you can't interchange it. So once it's spent, it's going to be on the charger for the rest of the day. Of course, there are drills that are smaller than this that you can plug in the wall. But you're going to need an extension cord for that, so keep that in mind. So those are the basics of power drills and in my next show I'll be showing you all the techniques on using these guys. So thanks for joining me at the Practical Girls Guide to Power Drills. Whatever you do, do not get on a step ladder with high heels. Why a power drill? a lot more good screwing with a power drill. <laughs> Among all these drills, a oh, powered hammer drill. <laughs> <laughs>